When you're in VoiceThreads and logged in already, you will always see three tabs somewhere on the page to help you navigate in case you get lost or lose your place in the site. And those three tabs are Browse, Create, and My Voice. Browse will always take you to a set of example voice threads. Some of these are how-to tutorials created by VoiceThread, the company. Some of them are examples from teachers that have used in, been used in school. And some of them are for other collaborations among students. But it's always a great place to go and get ideas and look for examples. The other tab is Create. This is where you go if you want to create your own voice thread. And then My Voice will be a list of voice threads you have already created. So this is a brand new account, so all I have in My Voice are some pre-made voice threads on how to use different parts of voice threads. Um, once I've created some voice threads, I will start to see my voice threads that I've created in this space as well. So these are the first three tabs that you'll always see somewhere on the page. Browse, Create, and My Voice. If you go to Create, this is your next set, your next set of three steps. Every time you go to create your own voice thread, it always comes in a set of three steps. Upload, comment, and share. Upload is where you upload either your own media, so that could be the picture that you're going to talk about in your voice thread, or a short video clip, or a PowerPoint document. Comment is where you comment on your voice thread, and then share is where you decide how you want to share your voice thread. You're going to copy the link and send it to someone. Are you going to post the voice thread to a website, or are you just going to leave it where it is and let people come to that link. So these sets, the set of three steps is always under the create tab. And then I, if I want to go back and browse other people's, I click on browse and go create or my voice.